Me when the woman who's ruining my life sees my thousand yard stare and asks, what are you thinking right now? I never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. I never seen you shine so bright. <laughs> Me coming home from the pub at 2 a.m. and making a doner kebab omelette. Hey, there's no real recipe. People say, where's the recipe? Why should there be a recipe? Why can't it be just feel? A philosophy. And this was my ex-wife's wedding vow to me. I'm now going to commit a sizable proportion of my life and all my intellectual prowess to making you as miserable as I can possibly imagine. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the disaster I laughingly called the Mr. Smelly 1977 Fragrance Review Channel. Today I'm going to give you my top five fragrances for winter 2024. I'm going early with this one. Before we do that, don't forget my recommended UK-based fragrance sampling site is fragrancesamplesuk.com, linked in the description, an amazing array of designer and niche fragrances there. I've used them for many years as a happy paying customer and the code Mr. Smelly 10 gets you 10% off across their site. My recommended USA-based fragrance sampling site is the Fragrance Decant Boutique. That's decantboutique.com and that code Mr. Smelly 10 also works there across a huge range of designers and niche scents. They are both linked in the description of this video. Okay, five great ones for the winter time, which is uh, very much impending now here in the UK and uh, gets dark, it gets cold. And for some of us, that means we want, we want fragrances that have um, a little more richness, maybe. We go for maybe more woody, leathery, even sweet tones, and perhaps less of the citrusy, fresh, aquatic type fragrances, which may be preferable during the spring and summer. However, quite frankly, wear what you want, when you want. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. I never do. Okay, so I've got, I got some classy choices, uh, mostly some recent, sort of recent, last 10 or 15 years, which for me is, is good work, okay? Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Noir Extreme from Tom Ford. Uh, this is really nice stuff. 2015 release. It's kind of expensive. It's in the designer uh, range from Tom Ford rather than their private blend, but you'll find a 50ml pound, uh, bottle around £84 online at the moment in the UK, 100ml, 120 so price is going up in the designer world. Uh, this one's a note listing, something along the lines of Mandarin Cardamom Indian Kulfi. That's a dessert with a kind of milky feel, apparently. Saffron, orange flower, amber, sandalwood, rose, mastic, and vanilla. It was a 2015 release, and the perfumer Sonia Constant created this one. It's lovely. It's a, it's creamy, spicy, with a hint of sandalwood. It's very refined. It it, it has a, a very delicate, semi-gourmandish nature to it. Women really seem to respond to this one. I mean, they, they rarely respond to me positively. But when I ask them how they, they think about this fragrance... The responses have always been positive. When I ask what they think about me overall, less positive, but that's another matter. Really, really nice fragrance. Uh, understated performance, I find, but subtly okay. I found it absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. Just a real kind of James Bond of the 21st century. You know, Daniel Craig as James Bond, maybe, rather than Sean Connery's James Bond kind of smell to this one. Really classy, smooth, a little bit creamy, um, a hint of this nice sandalwood accord, and subtly floral in there as well. You've, and you've got this the spice... That, they've named there is saffron and that's a very precious and uh, expensive spice i think it weighs it's priced higher per kilogram than gold or something like that but it doesn't weigh much anyway this is really a classy money smelling fragrance so check out noir extreme from Tom Ford. The th is it the thinking man's gourmand? It could well be. Please don't forget, we have our amazing offer on Gravitas Perom. Almost coming to an end soon. £70 only for UK customers right now. We're out of stock in the USA due to the great success of the fragrance. We are restocking everything that's out of stock in the USA because only Bon Viva is in stock there. Bon Viva is an absolutely amazing fragrance, so try and check that one out. Maybe buy yourself a bottle if you're in the USA. Gravitas Perom at the moment, that amazing deal, £70 only is, you know, you, you've got to don't miss it, guys. And stay tuned. The fifth fragrance from Norton & Wilson is here. It is coming very, very soon, late 2024. And this one, we've absolutely... This is amazing juice. I've covered the name up. Fancy new packaging. Look out. I'll be revealing more soon. Next up... Um, 
you know what? It's a real cheapie, but it's a goodie. I, I, and I find somehow, I, I first just, so that one I like it in the winter time. It's kind of comforting when it's a little bit cold or autumnal or, or wintry outside. Versace, the dreamer, similar kind of thing. I first discovered it around Christmas time and therefore it takes me back to that first Christmas that I got into fragrances. This, this was a 1996 release, the last fragrance released in the lifetime of the late great Gianni Versace. I found 100 mil online for just £23.95. So it's really become a cheapie. Uh, note listing Juniper Tarragon Art Artemisia, iris, lily, flax, tobacco, amber, lavender, tonka, uh, sage rose, and cedar. And the name is the dreamer, and it does have this dreamy combination of lavender and t- tobacco and a slightly synthetic air about it, but in a rather pleasant 90s way. It, it kind of ties in with things at that time, like Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, with a sort of lavendery, powderish feel about them. And it does have that completely different smell to Le Mal, but it really has a, a faint nostalgia about it. Beautiful on an autumn day or a winter's day when you want something comforting on your jumper or something like that. So kind of synthetic smelling lavender tonka type combination with indeterminate non-identifiable at least to my humble nose floral accord sort of in there really really it is it, it is a dreamy fragrance and perfect for a slightly melancholy autumn afternoon or perhaps a, a frosty day but a nice day in winter we don't get many of those in the uk but the, when they when we do when the leaves are falling, we're the dreamer. I do. Okay, moving on, we're going to go for uh, a really great one, but you know, it's not not a very exciting choice because we hear a lot about this one. But I've got to be honest, it is a real classic, a modern classic, although it's 18 years old now. 2006 release, Terre d'Hermes. I, having tried many variants, I still favour just the original good old eau de toilette. Jean Claude Eleanor's 2006 masterpiece. Note listing: orange, grapefruit, pepper, um, pelagonium. I haven't. I have no idea what that is. Flint, like gun flint or something, vetiver, cedar, patchouli and benzoin. It was conceived as a totally new kind of fragrance linking the earth and the air or something like that. Uh, People talk about it being a dirty orange kind of smell. If you rolled an orange in dirt, well, they wouldn't smell much like this, really, would it? What you get is a lovely, rich, dark orange combined with a lovely, earthy, woody vetiver. And it's just, if you've smelled it, you know it. There are some other things out there a bit similar, but this is the original, and I love it. Terre d'Hermes, 2006. You can get a 50 ml bottle for around 50 pounds or 100 ml. I found online in the UK for around 75 pounds. Great value for money. You know, we say, oh, everyone's heard of that. and everyone, Not that many people wear fragrances. Not many people wear enough of a fragrance that everyone notices it. And within the realms of the people who do, the number or the percentage who's actually wearing Ter Domes is, is not that big. So in our fragrance community, it's a bit like, oh, yeah, well, it's kind of boring. But, you know, it's not boring. People love it. Women, women do like it. The ones I've asked. I, I, I honestly mean that. Here's another really good one that I haven't mentioned for a while. And again, all these with their sort of earthy woodiness. When it gets a bit colder, they can be great choices if you don't want to wear a kind of citrusy fragrance, which you can still wear in the, the uh, cold weather. Of course you can. So our next selection here is Rochas Moustache Eau de Parfum. There was an original version. This is the Eau de Parfum 2018 release. You've got to get that one. £23.40 for 75 mil online. Amazing price. It was Natalie Gracia Seto, Pink Pepper, Tangerine, Bulgarian Rose, Cedar Patchouli, Benzoin, uh, Vanilla. Describe it as an oriental woody, and that's a good description. So it's a combination of of a, a subtly, uh, sophisticatedly sweet kind of scent, which perhaps comes from the combination of benzoin and vanilla, with the patchouli and the cedar giving a sort of rich, woody, masculine air. And that Bulgarian rose, my favourite kind of rose, forget Romanian rose, forget it, Bulgarian rose, I'm in. It's really, really classy and suave stuff. Again, dapper gentleman, think Daniel Craig and James Bond type stuff. And yeah, beautiful, woody, rosy, slightly sweet, subtly sweet, but in a sophisticated way, a la la benzoin, rather than, uh, you know, cakey like vanilla. Really, really nice stuff and a very grown up fragrance. They compare it to YSL's tuxedo, C- could be a valid point. I've smelled that one or two times. Certainly a great fragrance to wear in a tuxedo, perhaps at a New Year's ball which you might be going to if you're very lucky in the winter time. Finally, we have Egoist Chanel. I'm sorry, yes, predictable. The greatest sandalwood designer fragrance ever. Still wonderful in its current formulation, released way back in 1990. Jacques Polge, back then they called it Legoist, and uh, then they changed it, whatever. Famous advert when the women opened the doors and said, Egoist, Egoist. Angry with a man for being egotistical, and quite rightly so. Brazilian rosewood, my favourite kind. Argentinian rosewood, no chance. Coriander, mahogany. Sicilian mandarin, uh, we have cinnamon, damask rose, carnation sandalwood, tobacco, vanilla, leather, amber, and ambret seed. Um, 
this is a just a classic. The, the main thing you get is the, the creamy, beautiful sandalwood accord mixed in with a subtle spiciness, hints of floral accords, a, a hint of fresh wood, uh, kind of mandarin opening note, a hint of soapy freshness too. Just classy, sophisticated Chanel brilliance in a bottle. One of their greatest fragrances. So many other ones since this, but I don't think it's really... It has to be really the best Chanel designer fragrance for me, although I love Paul Monsieur. Uh, I am a big fan. I quite like Platinum Egoist, actually. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Antaeus, but for me, I think this this has to be the one. Egoist from Chanel, great. And of course, because it's got that creaminess, a little bit creamy, spicy, and the rich sandalwood uh, kind of note. That you could wear it in the summer, of course you could. It works well when things are getting a bit cold. It's sort of comforting, and I like that. So let me know what you thought about that. We will see you in the next video. Don't forget to join my channel or join my Patreon, either way, and you can can see an extra exclusive video every week and the live streams stay up there i will see you in the next one remember whatever you're doing in life let's project and although life sometimes can stink at least we can always smell good right bye bye mm -hmm.